it now turns out the CFTC is saying, well, wait a second, purposely defaulting even though you can afford to pay it? That sounds like it might just be market manipulation. We're going to take a look at that. Right, and this follows ISDA, who came out with something similar last week, and the CFTC have actually said they are worried that this could severely damage the uh, integrity of the CDS market. So, look, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating point in time for this deal. Well, it was interesting to me, because I hadn't thought of it in this terms. What CFTC was saying in part is, look, at, things are priced. CDSs are priced on certain assumptions that you'll try to pay off if you can. If, in fact, you're gaming the system, then the prices are probably all off. You should reprice all of CDSs. Right, and you could apply that to all insurance markets. I mean, look, yes. if, I, if I buy insurance on my car, it's predicated on the fact the insurer does not expect me to go and drive that car full speed into a wall to see what happens. And, of course, just the back Background here. So basically, Blackstone said to Havnanian, yes, we will wind up giving you a loan and bail you out in some respects if you definitely trigger your credit default swaps. Blackstone had credit default swaps on the company. Goldman Sachs was one of the ones that issued the credit default swaps and would be on the hook for that. So there's been a big battle between Blackstone and Goldman Sachs in particular uh, when you have the CEO's kind of meeting or Where they got together yeah, for yeah. lunch. And they're like, we're going to hang out. Like and then that. it's yeah. like, Rrr. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. That's the background in it. But it's all about ARB, right? I mean, it's about, well, it's about R, but it's also about where the line is. Look, you have Solus and, and Goldman great. on one side of this trade saying that this is really wrong and potentially illegal. You have Blackstone on the other side who say, look, guys, we played close to the line, but it was smart and we made money on it. But, but it's ironic to me that, as I understand it, from both Blackstone and from um, um, uh, uh, Goldman Sachs' point of view, these are not big deals for them. It's more the principle of the thing, right? Well, also because it's Goldman Sachs has business with the Blackstone, yeah. so on its own. So yeah, there's exactly. also that. Whole it's the principle, and look, that's what the CFTC and what ISDA are against, because they're saying yes, while it's legal, it actually you're gaming the market, and you shouldn't do that because it creates this integrity issue, which longer term any CDS holder is going to then struggle to price accordingly. Is it getting priced in the CDS market at this point? I mean, is it affecting the prices of CDS? Not at this point, but I think as it plays out, it's going to have more of an effect. I think if this thing goes through and there's nothing that can be done to stop it, look, CFTC have said they are looking at measures to essentially regulate against this kind of thing. And if they can't, then I think you potentially see a wholesale change in the way CDS prices.